In the beginning of movie, a man named Jai is shown driving with his friend. When he opens the door and goes out for his task, a few people kidnap his friend. After it, Jai's brother is shown named Benny. He is a college student and lives with his elder brother Jai and his granny. Benny likes his elder brother's car and his elder brother is a driver. He takes people to their destinations. Benny goes to his elder brother and sees his elder brother with weapons. He asks his brother, "How do you need those weapons?" Benny's brother says, "To keep this a secret, but if you like my car, would you like to drive it?" He asks him to go for driving in his car. He gives him his car and asks him to do his job carefully while taking care of his car. Now it was Benny's night duty, so he went for his job and reaches near a mansion that was huge and lovely. Two lovely girls come out of the mansion and they are vampires. Benny doesn't know about it and the girls say to Benny, "We have to go to five places. We have to reach those five places before the morning appears." They ask, "Will Benny complete his task successfully?" Because they suspect Benny that he will not drive well or he is driving for the first time. Now, Benny takes those girls to their first destination. He has taken them to their destination, but he can't go inside. The vampire girls move to that place while showing the diamond. Benny was waiting for them outside. Benny hears a shouting voice when the girls were inside, but he doesn't know where this voice came from and why. Benny comes out of the car and finds the stone downside that the girls showed for moving inside, and he keeps the stone. The vampire girls come out, and he doesn't tell the girls that he isn't Jai because Jai warned him not to tell, and even if someone asks you a question, you will tell them you are Jai. After it, Benny takes them to their second destination and feels the girls are strange. Reaching their second destination, they go to the party for enjoying, but Benny will wait outside. Benny was thinking about those girls when he was outside that the girls are strange and he doesn't know they are vampires. Meanwhile, he sees at his back seat and finds their bag and phone there and there was a message on the phone and he reads that the man was asking about Jai. He asks how is he and says he wants to meet Jai as soon as possible. It means Benny's brother. Now he becomes worried about why this man wants to meet his brother. He finds a lot of money in the bag soaked in blood when he opens it. He becomes concerned as a result of it and is unsure what is wrong with him. Meanwhile, Benny sees a police officer who was searching the cars then he moves out of his car and starts hiding to escape from allegations. The police officer sees him while hiding but he gets panicked and moves to the mansion where the vampires went. He moves to a receptionist in the mansion but firstly, she ignores Benny. The behavior of the receptionist changes when Benny takes out the stone he found. She offers him help and says I will take you to the place where you want to go. She knows how special is the person who is having the stone and where he has to go. Now the receptionist takes Benny to the place where the vampires were. He finds those vampires sucking a man's blood and Benny gets scared to see them in this condition and runs to the police officer. He tells the police officer that the girls who went inside are vampires and they are sucking a man's blood there. Here we discover a turn in the movie that the police officer was none other than a companion of those girls. The police officer tries to end him when he discovers that he is revealing their truth. Benny runs to his car when the officer was about to end him and Benny was trying to call his brother meanwhile the vampire girls arrive and take his phone from him Benny asks them to let him go but the girls say tell us who are you He tells the girls that he isn't Jai but he is his younger brother Benny and his elder brother has sent him here Later the vampire leader is shown who has imprisoned many people at his home to suck their blood The leader has made an agreement with the city's people that he will not harm them and promised that he will not harm any even or suck their blood. Now he got bored of doing this for many years after it. He ended this agreement and now he was harming the people. Here we discover Jai hunts the vampires and the leaders here. Jai doesn't want to harm the city and he doesn't want those vampires to harm any human. The vampire leader now wants to capture Jai and his companions after discovering this. He has hired those girls because of it. Benny is shown on another side where the girls discover Benny is Jay's younger brother. The girls don't let Benny go from there when he tries to run. 
The girls say you will take us to the places where we want to go and will do a driver's job. One of the girls named Blair likes Benny. Now she wants to help Benny because of it. She tells Benny the whole story that there are two parties and they are trying to take over the city. She tells a party is of the vampire leader who wants to harm the city and wants to suck humans blood and the other is your brother Jay's party. He doesn't want to harm the city but wants to save people from the vampires. She tells your brother knows the method with which the vampires can be ended moreover she tells the other vampire with her likes their leader and the leader also do. Later Benny is shown taking them to their third destination it was a night club and they were standing in a lane to go inside. There were Benny's friends among them and they want Benny to go with them as they see him. The vampires have the stone with which they can go inside while showing it. The girls move inside the nightclub while showing the stone and Benny's friends see the keys in his hands while coming toward him. They realize Benny is a driver and cannot go inside to take us. Meanwhile, they see one of the vampires, Blair, returns and takes Benny inside with her. Benny's friends get shocked to see this now they went to the nightclub and the man should be there whom blood they have to suck There was Jay's companion who was standing there to end those vampires He has a gun through which he can end the vampires now the man has pointed a gun at them while saying I will end you There were other members with him and asks them to shoot them Benny helps them and throws a bottle at their leader after it the vampires fight with others Likewise they come outside the nightclub now the vampires discover Benny who is Jay's brother on their side as he has helped them and they ask Benny to tell them about a safe place Benny asks them to come to his home and says my house is a safe place there is only my granny at my home and none will harm you Benny takes them to his home and granny asks who are they you didn't bring any one home before In the following scene, Benny is shown receiving a call from the vampire's leader. He tells him that his brother Jay is with him actually. His brother went to fight with the leader but he was defeated in the war. After it, the vampire leader imprisoned him then. Benny go to drop the girls at the last location. That was the vampire leader's house and Benny's brother was also imprisoned there. One of the girls who like Benny asks him to go back when Benny drops them otherwise a leader will end you along with your brother Benny says he will not leave his brother alone and he has to help his brother but the girl stops Benny She likes Benny and wants to help him but Benny wasn't ready to go from there at any cost He finds out the house and sees different parts of the house so he will find out his brother and he was searching for him Meanwhile he discovers the leader has imprisoned many people and sucked their blood He also imprisoned Jay along with those people but Benny was also caught when he was trying to save his brother After it the leader and the girl who likes Benny come to Benny and they frighten him while telling him they can do anything with him You know what we are so powerful and we have caught your brother as well but hearing them Benny stabs them a knife The vampire leader wants to end Benny the other vampire girl who likes Benny discovers they want to end Benny and she doesn't want to let this happen. She stands for Benny but the other girl says how can you do this? While seeing this, you can't do this because I have made you. You can't go against me and attack the girl while saying this. She punishes her for what she has done but Benny activates his car when he sees this. His car comes inside at a high speed and it comes inside while breaking the window. There was sunlight in that leader's house when the window broke. The companion of the leader was standing there and gets burns as the sunlight falls on her. After it, Jay comes in front of Benny and he wants to help his brother meanwhile. The vampire leader attacks Benny and bites him. Now, Benny has also become a vampire and he wants to end Benny. Then, Jay comes and takes the leader towards the sunlight. The vampire leader changes into ashes and dies as he moves into the sunlight. Benny was bitten by the vampire leader and now he will transform into a vampire. Later, the scene after some time is shown and it is shown the path of the brothers was separated. Benny was changed into a vampire. Jay, however, says as he walks away, "I know you've been transformed into a vampire, but you still have to fight from my side and we must save the city from huge destruction."
Jai, has decided to be a professional vampire hunter and will train, Benny, that no matter if he is a vampire but he has to support me staying on my side. Later, Benny is seen with that vampire girl, and they want to spend the rest of their lives together. This concludes the vampire film story.